Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is BGFH, and I am back for another VR game spotlight video. We are looking at a game that I have not really played at all, so I'm going into this pretty f just totally fresh. Um, I've seen just a tiny bit of footage of it. I thought it looks sort of interesting. I do have a few reservations about it, but I picked it up on sale, so hopefully uh, the accessibility of it will be decent. Uh, I did actually get to the main menu, but I wanted to close the application and open it again just to show you, uh, just to see if it would actually ask me again, and it has. So, <clears throat> unfortunately, the first thing that you see when you pl when you start this app is, if I lift up my headset, yeah, okay, it's full screen. I have to choose a language. I see I got this mouse pointer here. I'm using the Oculus Touch controllers here. And I had to use the magnification, uh, Windows Magnifier, and I need to choose English. So thankfully I could kind of tell um, what was going on there. Now I also had to use Magnifier here, and unfortunately this is kind of obnoxious. This dialog box moves when you turn your head. So it's actually kind of, uh, it's a little bit delayed, but it still tracks with your head. Now, if I move forward or backward, it doesn't do anything. It's still a set distance away, uh, the text being too small and too far away. So again, I actually had to, you know, I usually just kind of guess to see what happens. Uh, hit buttons and see what happens. Nothing worked. So again, I had to use Windows Magnifier, and it's telling me, the one good thing about this game is that even with the motion controllers, it seems like I can set my center of view. So if I hold down on the left menu button on my Oculus controller for about a second, okay, I've calibrated my center view. We are going to load our main menu up here for Wilson's Heart. It seems to be kind of like a horror detective-esque game. Twisted Pixel, they are the ones that brought us a couple of really interesting games on Xbox 360. The the thing they notice about with Twisted Pixel games is like their stories or their humor are rather amusing, but the games themselves aren't always the most fun to play. Uh, I keep thinking about doing a video, because I think it's backwards compatible, for this Comic Jumper game. Remember when I did the Sega Genesis uh, Classics review, I talked about Comic Zone and how no one's really tried to do that again. Well, Twisted Pixel did, um, and I liked the presentation a lot, but the game itself was very frustrating in a lot of ways, and especially for low vision. So back to Wilson's Heart, we got our main menu on the left, got our options on the right, and again, no head tracking, it's, it has forced us to be uh, a good distance away, so if I want to read anything, I had to, again, look, lift up my visor, try to look at the proper area of the screen, and also or look at the proper area in VR, and also look at the screen, so that was unfortunate. We're going to go to New Game. Uh, I'm guessing we're just going to overwrite. So I just went into it uh, very briefly. Um, I played like two seconds of it, so I just wanted to make sure that it worked. Um, I have no clue what to expect in this game other than the very brief footage I've seen online. <clears throat> So, one interesting presentation aspect of this, okay, uh, hold on just one moment. It's all black. We hear Wilson. the sound of <laughs> Hello? Anybody here? Okay, we are Wilson. Jeez. We are trapped. Uh, sorry about that, I had to itch my eye there real quick. So we got our hands, 
and we are hooked up to some weird mon monstrosity contraption. Got something over there. We got something over here on the left. Um, both hands. I'm like, how do I move? I don't get it. So basically, I gotta pull these out. Okay, do the same thing for this one. Ah, freedom, free at last. Um, so, one downside right away that I noticed about this is that it's teleport only, at least it seems to be, and it is fixed teleport. Uh, if any of you have watched my recent, I'm recording this uh, a couple weeks after I did the VR accessibility presentation at ID24, and I talk about, you know, I've talked about this in several other uh, game and experience videos as well, but, you know, you have free teleport where you can move all around. I just did the Blade Runner video, which had the free teleport, and it actually worked pretty well. This, it looks like you're only able to go where the silhouettes are. Now, granted, the silhouettes are actually pretty easy to see, so that's a plus, but I just, I, I, I like, you know, especially in a really cool looking environment like this I want to walk everywhere if I want to go up and get close to an object to see it better I wish I could just move with my analog sticks at least have that as an option in addition to the silhouette so what I was going to say before it uh, got done loading there you notice that this game it has this black and white look to it you know something you might find out of like Sin City or something like that that was also something that intrigued me about this game is like how is this going to work how is this going to look just in general in virtual reality and how will it work from an accessibility point you know everything is a shade of like grayscale is that going to make things harder to see so we can't do anything over here by this monstrosity here okay and i can move oh uh okay so I'm over in front of, I gotta back up just a tad here. Can I? Um, oh, wait, Oops. what? Okay. Oh, okay, hit the trigger to do that, okay. So I can pick things up and get it close to me. Um, okay, I can hold it over the light and I can that's cool. I can actually... See, that's one thing about virtual reality that's just really neat. I can hold it any way that I want. Oh, even the paper. I wonder if I can flick it up. Can I... Because I was trying to flip up. See how the paper moved there? Alright, well, whatever. Um... See, this is really low. Um, let me see if I can recalibrate here. Uh, we're going to do an experiment to see if it works. I'm going to hold my controllers up a little bit higher. Oh. Uh, okay, that's... Hold on a minute. Huh. Okay, so that is still really low. I mean, I am seated, it says to stand, but I just wanted to see. Okay, so you move and you click the... What happened here? Yeah, there's some usability issues that I don't like so far. Um, using the touch controllers, I can't... Right, That's so a good pick, way to do it. I can pick this up, and I can get it close to my face, but actually the text seems a little bit blurry. Um, so it's a little bit still hard to read. Um, Okay, I can pass it along to other... See, I should be able to grab the paper. You know, if you're looking at immersion. Alright, whatever. Throw that back on the bed. 
Um, but what I don't like is that I'm sitting in a forward-facing camera setup. Um, and I cannot use my analog stick to turn. See, and now when I'm trying to turn around, uh, this is going to be a problem. Okay, we're over here now. What in God's name? Yeah, see if I get out of focus it blurs like that. Um, boy. I don't know how playable this is going to be, especially with my room set up here. And that is really unfortunate because, you know, I would be interested in kind of a horror-esque game. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't even turn around and look. This, and I'm already disoriented in my room. I'm not sure actually which way I'm facing. So, really, there's no way that I can. I can't. You know, okay. If I'm if I if I can teleport, that's one thing. But I should at least be able to turn, especially if they say, "Oh, you can use a front-facing camera." I don't have 360-degree movement or uh, turning capability. So it's going to be really hard to, especially if there's things in the back of me that I'm going to need to be able to see. Um, I guess I'll go there. I don't know. Okay, I'm in front of a door. Locked. Okay, locked. So again, I cannot... How the hell do I turn? Okay, where is my desk? Um, okay, uh, okay, I figured out where I am in my room, so, let me recalibrate again, okay. I'm a patient and I'm injured, I could use some help here. Okay, that's apparently me talking, so... We've got a door up ahead. There's where we were. Okay, that does seem to work a little better standing up. So I guess we're gonna go there. Okay, hey, how you doing? Okay. Got a bathroom. Yeah, okay. Well, there's me. I look like I've been through some stuff. What is that in my head? Ugh. Ow! That looked like it hurt. <coughs> what is that? Some kind of medical apparatus from that machine. Okay, well, chuck that. Should be able to open this, right? I'm supposed to grab it with this handle. Oh, I gotta turn it. Okay, okay, gotcha. Uh, what we got in here? Can I do anything with this stuff? What comes a little? Medications. Can I open this? Nope. I can just grab it. OK. 
Okay. What else do we got in here? Whoa, okay, I got a key apparently. I didn't even see that up there. Okay, so apparently I grabbed a key. I have no idea how to use it. Time to find some help. Okay, so now there's the door we just came from. And now we can go that way. And I would assume it unlocks these doors here. Ah, oh, okay. Grab the key. Uh-oh! I dropped the key. Well, that's good. It, if you drop it, it... Uh... So can I turn it? This is not... Something this simple shouldn't be that bad. Can I grab the key again? No. Oh, it's a push door. Okay, I'm a freaking moron. <laughs> oh, okay. Where you go? All right. So now we're in because we're in some sort of like I don't know, freaky hospital or something here. Uh, let's stand up again. So we've got a counter. Let's go here. So it does kind of put us at least front facing close to what we're looking at. So again, the okay, now this one I can actually switch Shouldn't pages. Be a problem. Um, unfortunately, I'm not able to really read that because, like I said, I can get it close, I can kind of read it. Actually, this one I kind of can, but if I get it close to my face, it gets really blurry for some reason. Like, you know, see, tip, if, if you forgive, okay, whatever, okay, whatever. Can I knock all this stuff down? Can I chuck it? Yeah, there we go. Now we're virtual reality. Break it all. Because I'm mature like that. There we go. All right. Our work here is done. Let's go back over here. Behind the counter. Aha. We have another key for... Damn it, I got too close. Well, let's grab it. Okay, we got a key. Uh, not sure what room it's for. Hard to read. It's like two something, but it's like I said, it gets blurry when you get close. So I don't know if that's like the black and whiteness or something. And again, this almost seems like you really do need to have room scale for this to work really well because if I want to go over and interact more over here, I'm gonna run, yep, there's my window right there. <clears throat> so it's kind of keeping you at least facing uh, the direction that you, you're gonna want to interact with something. All right, so, okay, we can open these. Nothing here. Yep, good enough. Okay, I, see, that's weird. I have to grab it by the handle. Why can't I just 
push it with my hand because that's what I might actually do in real life. You know, I'm not going to grab the handle per se. I'm just going to take it and go, eh. And in VR, that's something like you should be able to do. Can I not grab this? Okay. Nope. Okay, well, whatever. Anything in here? More bottles I can break. Maybe. Oh, nope. Can't break these. Yeah, there we go. Alright, whatever. I don't think any of this stuff is actually of use. Yep, break it. Cool. Okay. I'm not gonna break everything here. Okay, let's sit down. Got some drawers, some towels in there. Newspaper. Ooh. <sighs> Okay, there's your newspaper article. Yeah, that's cool how it's actually, you know, it kind of flops around like an actual paper would. That's kind of neat. Okay, well, we don't care about newspaper, do we? Uh, more towels. More towels. Um, shut that, I suppose. And I guess we're going over there. Okay, can I break, ooh, can I pick this up and break it? Okay, we got a photo. I have no idea who these who people are. Who are these people? <laughs> yeah, what I said. Okay, so you got some stuff on the back that I can't read. So unfortunately, this seems like a really cool intera uh, like interactive VR game mystery thing, but for low vision, I gotta say that it may not be the most accessible because of like how small things are, how blurry things can be sometimes. Um, and the other thing is, like I said, I think, at least <clears throat> based on my play area, uh, I think you really do need more space. Uh, can I open any of these? No, I can't. Okay. Guess we're going over here. Okay, what is this? Some kind of intercom thing, I think. Wow, that looks ancient. Can we hit any of them? Is anybody there? Hello? What? Okay, oh. Okay, that's nice and broken. So, let's go over here down the hallway. Can't go in that door because there's no silhouette. Here's some weird electrical nonsense over there. Nobody. Okay, and we are... What the hell's going on over there? electricity or something okay nothing I can do here guess we'll go in this room and find out here we got a bed we got a lamp we got what do we got on the nightstands here about the funny book huh uh, yeah clipping through the desk there a little bit Okay, and it teleports back to where we were going to be. Can I not open anything? I can't grab it? Okay. Uh, anything, anything else I can do in here? I mean, the light. Painting up there. All right, well, um, see if I can turn around here, okay. 
Go that way. Okay. Oh, there's all kinds of broken stuff here. Yeah, what he said. So I'm guessing there's going to be some puzzles and stuff. Okay, I can look over there. That's where I came from. Back there. Uh-huh. Director's office. Private. Let me guess, I can't get in. I need a key, probably. Oh, wait, I wonder. How do I bring up my... Remember that key that I grabbed? Okay, I tried to push. Okay. Damn it. Well, let's go over here. See what's... Uh-huh. Can I grab anything? Is there like a secret thing behind this or get a little tracking issues here? It seems like a really neat experience. I just don't know that I'm gonna be able to really participate in it fully with my current setup and my current vision. Nevertheless, I still do want to show it to you because You know, I think it's still worth... Okay. So, I think it's still worth showing you these types of things because, you know, not just the good stuff. You know, when things have a problem... Okay, I got the key. Now. Push! Okay, hospital beds. What do we got here? Yeah, it just everything seems a little... It just seems a little blue. So, oh! Hey, okay, okay. Shit! Okay, you little traditional jump scare. useful I can do in here? Doesn't appear to be. Okay, shut that a little bit. Uh, can't go over there. Could appear. Okay. I mean, I guess the fixed teleports in this case, I guess it makes things a little bit easier to know what you're supposed to look at because you know there's so many you know I could be looking around all these beds I mean I guess that's the same thing in any game but in VR it's a little bit easier to yeah I'm having all kinds of tracking issues here uh, well let's hit it doctor anybody hello Okay, maniacal laughter. Huh. Okay. Guess we're going over here. See, I, I've actually lost... Oh. Oh, this was the room that was locked. Okay, now we got the director's office here. Got it. Yeah, this place has seen, be seen better days, that's for sure. I think what we'll do is we'll explore this room. Um, and then I think we're going to wrap it up here just because I don't know that there's... Like I said, with some of the tracking issues that I'm having and stuff like that. 
and some of the low vision stuff. Like, I really want to like this game, and I kind of do. But again, I think it's just a little bit, you know, harder to use this experience. Can I interact with anything here? Uh huh. Can I, it's just looking at some of these lower shelves here. Okay, let's go over there. Wow. <laughs> Wide open out there. Oh! Jeez! Hey, buddy. <laughs> Alright, jump scare number two. Fair enough. One hell of a void, wouldn't you think? Okay, uh, actually, can I get behind the desk? That's what I'd really like to take a look at. I wonder here. if anyone's talking about this. Okay, so we're tuning the dial here. Remember analog dials, you guys? Trying to get something else to come in here. Come on. We got that again. Then his wrist looks really weird when he does that. Not really getting much for reception in this storm. But what is that? Okay, some kind of radio show. I'm bird watching. Digging in over there. A yellow bellied sap sucker. A yellow bellied. A yellow bellied sap sucker right there. Oh, I see him. That sure is a mighty big name for such a little bird. Ha 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 ha. Right now. Did you read the binoculars? I sure did. Here you go, Mr. Carnegie. Well, let's see here. Oh, that is much better. <laughs> what? Is so funny, Angus. <laughs> Your eyes, Mr. Carnegie. <laughs> and what's so funny about yeah. my eyes? I put shoe polish on those eyepieces. Now it looks like you have two black eyes. <laughs> Dad, you sure look funny, Mr. Carnegie. Oh, okay, I can't take any more of that. Yeah, beat the crap out of them. Try a little bit more. Come here, you. Those are the only two things I can get. Looks like, oh, no, same thing. All right, screw this. Turn it off or turn it down. Well, um, I don't know if I missed something in the frequencies there, which is possible. Um, again, I really like the idea, and it's really interesting seeing somebody 
actually try to do a uh, <coughs> VR um, experience in black and white. I mean, it kind of works. You know, it's kind of got this like photorealistic sort of a thing going here. Um, but like with the teleporting and some of the contrast and reading issues, I unfortunately I don't know that I'm really going to be able to be playing this all that much. Let me guess. Come on. Yeah, you're locked too. Okay. Locked. Yeah, so I gotta find another key somewhere. It's probably way the hell back there somewhere, and now I can't turn around. Uh, uh, let's go in here one more time. It's entirely possible that I missed it, and I wish I could get... Can I get right behind the desk? I don't think there's a teleport point back there. If I was going to put a key somewhere, that's probably where I'd put it. I can go out to the window or the broken wall there. Um, but yes, it's a little bit hard to... A little bit hard to see with everything kind of being, especially kind of being a dark and stormy area, no lights, um, a little bit harder to see in here, uh, is there a key in here maybe that I missed? Uh, oh. There. Okay. Uh, I didn't do that last time. Some kind of medical stuff it looks like. Can I interact with any of this stuff? Um, hmm. Interesting. Well, like I said, I'm not going to poke around this too much longer. It is a really neat experience, um, but for low vision, I think there are some aspects of it that can be kind of frustrating. I mean, I do like that they draw your point, you know, your attention to when you teleport. You seem to be right in front of whatever it is you're supposed to be interacting with. It almost seems kind of like, you know, even though I can look around and see everything, it kind of reminds me of like mist where you have these, the original mystery had these fixed um, viewpoints and then you had to solve, you either read something or solve some sort of little puzzle for that little part of the screen. Um, kind of reminds me of something like that. So anyway, that is Wilson's Heart. Uh, it is available on the Oculus Rift right now. I really have mixed feelings about it. I really do want to like it and I kind of do. But I think that in at least my current play area and some of the low vision stuff, it might be a little bit hard to see some of the detail and especially soaking in some of the atmosphere. Like if I want to read over there or I want to read some of the things on the wall or if I need to really focus in on something that's not like right in front of me, I can see that being a problem. But good atmosphere. I like the black and white thing. Um, but might be a little bit difficult. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry it wasn't super exciting. I honestly did not know what to expect uh, when I started playing this because, like I said, I, 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 this was something I just decided, hey, let's take a look at this uh, fresh and from the beginning and uh, see what happens. So anyway, Wilson's Heart on Oculus Rift right now. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79 and until next time I will talk to you guys again later. Oh whoa that's weird. Huh. Alright there. <laughs>